Hey guys, Clint Coots here, and in this video, I'm gonna discuss how many bank accounts do you need for your limited liability company structure? All right, so now let's assume that you have one LLC that you've created in your plan. You just got one LLC set up. Well, that's pretty friggin' obvious, is it not? You're gonna to need to have one bank account right here for this LLC in order for it to operate its business. Because the last thing you wanna do is be down here and paying all the bills on behalf of that LLC because that's gonna open someone up to veil piercing. Meaning if the LLC gets sued by a tenant, they'll say, well, you weren't truly treating that company as an LLC because you yourself were collecting all the rents personally, you were paying all the bills out of your personal name, so you didn't recognize the independent structure of that company, therefore we're gonna ignore it. So generally speaking, with one LLC, of course, you gotta have one bank account. Now where things start to change is when you start to grow your structure out. And so you start adding on additional limited liability companies here. So now we've got four LLCs and then you bring on that Wyoming company down here like this. So in this case, run into people all the time. They're in this scenario. They got these LLCs set up. Maybe this one's Oklahoma. This one's in Florida right here. And this is in Missouri over here. And uh, this one's in Washington. So people want to know, Clint, how many bank accounts do I need to set up? Because I'm going to keep investing. I'm going to have 10, 15, 20 LLCs within the next four years. And that's just way too many bank accounts for me to handle. Well, what we, the way I always look at this is you've got uh, better and best. Now, the best scenario I was going to tell you is always to set up one bank account per LLC. So in this case, you're going to have five bank accounts. Each LLC is going to have to have its own bank account. Now, if you're just one of those individuals who just can't mentally wrap your head around having five bank accounts because to you, it's going to be way too difficult to administer all that, one point that I'd like to push back on is you can create all these bank accounts with the same bank. Even though you've got a, an Ohio or Florida, or Missouri LLC, go down to your local Chase bank and set up bank accounts for them. You can do it. You just got to give them a local address to get that account opened. Now, the idea here is if you have a separate bank account, the benefit is that when you bring in your rental income to the Missouri LLC, it makes it really simple for your bookkeeper to know how much money came into that Missouri LLC, what went out of the Missouri LLC. You get an independent, uh, you get an owner statement that goes with that. So that's a good strategy, what we call the uh, best strategies to have one bank account per LLC. And then they're all going to be linked online. For example, I use Chase. They're all linked online through Chase. So if you need to move money around, you just jump on Chase, move the money as you need it, you know, as follows. Now, if you still don't believe me and you're like, too much work, make it simple for me, Clint. Well, then you could go possibly with this route. Maybe in, in this scenario, you're going to have a management company that you create up here. Maybe you have your own property management um, LLC that you put up top. And so it's managing your limited liability companies. So it's either dealing directly with the tenants itself or it's dealing with that uh, a PM that you have over here, the out-of-state PM that's running all these property manager. And so then in this instance, you'll have all the funds flow into this LLC. So this property management LLC will be collecting all of the funds on behalf of these properties. Now, if you go this route, granted, you could go without these bank accounts now, okay? So you go without those bank accounts. So you're gonna have a bank account here at the property manager entity level. You're still gonna need one down here because this entity here is gonna have to account for all the income for these particular limited liability companies. So you gotta keep good books and records. I mean, really good. You should hire a bookkeeper, all right, uh, to do this for you so it stays clean. Now the money comes in here and then from here, it would come down into this account here. And then from that account, you could pull the money out here. You can check out my video that uh, on when to take distributions from your real estate LLC. And I go through some of this when you should be taking money out. But if you're using this structure right here, this is how you, you would run it. Now, if you don't have that property management company, you, don't, you didn't establish something like this, all right? You're still, you're down into this area and you just don't like the idea of having to have individual bank accounts here, well, 
The last option would be, I mean, you definitely have to have the account here. And so in that scenario, this is where the bank account's gonna be. You're not gonna have them up here. And that property manager now will, will send the, uh, the owner statement and the income to this LLC on a monthly basis. Now, this structure right here, uh, I've set it up for many clients and I tell them the exact same thing again. You have to have great books and records to account for all of the income for these associated LLCs. But the reason why we're not setting up separate bank accounts here for each of these uh, independent entities is because the PM up here that's managing it, many times, you know, you've got properties in the same state. They're not going to cut separate checks per LLC or different wires. They're only going to give you one wire on a monthly basis. So you couldn't, I mean, if you did have a bank account, it wouldn't do you any good. You're still going to have to only collect the funds at one particular entity. So that's why that Wyoming LLC would be the one that would have the bank account with it. So, you know, you can go simpler with this. Um, and if you do go that route, you just have to make sure that you're keeping excellent books and records so that if you ever get audited or you're ever involved in a lawsuit, you can show that you treat each entity as a separate entity and that you account for its income in a separate, uh, on a separate spreadsheet with separate sets of books for each of those structures. So the choice is yours when it comes to opening up the bank accounts. Again, the best strategy is to have every LLC own its own uh, bank account, but if that proves problematic for you, you just can't operate under that structure, you still want the asset protection of the LLCs, then choose one of the other two forms, uh, examples, explore those as an additional option. All right, guys, hope you learned something on that. And if you've got any questions, leave those in the comments and be sure to subscribe to the channel as well. Take care.